Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play One More 40k in Crystal of Prophecy in another round. This time we start with talking to the Magus Biologists. What do you make of this ancient prophecy, Magus? The tech priest considers it pure Xenox nonsense. My opinion is more nuanced, but I can't see any practical use for it either. You are being too harsh. The prophecy alludes to certain facts that we know are valid. You are willing, then, to accept the existence of a million-year-old artifact created by a race long extinct that somehow had knowledge of the birth of beings like her. Uther's research was based on ancient Fabricata's technology. The existence of the Alpha Pariah could easily be the result of this prophecy. In that case, the Pariah needs the artifact to control her powers and fulfill her true potential. Otherwise, she presents grave danger to everyone. All right, then, next chat with... Do you have a destination for me? I have faced some daunting tasks, but finding an unknown artifact created by a long extinct race sounds impossible. The tech priest has scoured the available inquisitorial archive of classified data troves. Nothing. Luckily, we have an acquaintance who knows his way around the system. Are you referring to Nathaniel Grexis, the resourceful rogue trader captain with a shady past? In his youth, Grexus made a fortune as a trader in Xenos relics. He has abandoned that particular career since then, but he must have kept his contacts. I suppose you might have an idea as to his whereabouts. We have exchanged messages recently. He was on his way to the mining world Arcadus. Then we will follow him. He will surely be glad to see us. Ah yeah, then we travel to that location and see what exactly we gonna need to do. Unwilling informant. The prophecy provided by the Harlequin refers to a mighty entity that could be capable of sealing the Dark Nexus and potentially changing the fate of the entire galaxy. This entity might be the Alpha Pariah, but she needs a mysterious Fabricatus relic to control her immense power. I found no usable information in the archives on the item in question, but Captain Van Winter suggested as a uh, useful acquaintance the individual Nathaniel Grexist, a rogue trader with good connection to smugglers of Xenos technology. The Tech Priest has sent out several Scryer Skulls. We have a hit on Grexus. And what is our old friend doing here, exactly? May I hazard a guess? Old Nathaniel Grexus must be quite busy with one of his suspicious deals. This area is a hideout for rebellious deserters. Whatever he is doing here, I will most certainly not approve. Are you willing to face an army of rebels? They will have a chance to show penitence. But that obviously will be in Wayne I hope if I at least could actually aim at them and they are already doing a little bit of damage just but nothing too too harsh we are just doing it right punching through them with explosive shells the usual Oh, I love the... They are so amazing. We have the pick feed from the Scryer Skulls. You have betrayed me, you filthy rat. First, call me a rat again and I will break your jaw. Secondly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? An Imperial agent has landed in the zone. Tell me it was not you. Don't you dare pin this on me, you scoundrel. Snitches like you deserve death. But we can use you as a hostage. Lads, watch this filth while I deal with this mess. I Oopsie daisies, I'm sorry. But, um, this is a thing we obviously don't know yet. Um, if that is actually, well, some sort of plan. Or whether he's really, so to say, betraying the Imperium, which I would actually not suggest at all. Alright, need a little explosions, and we use the explosive shells. I'm still 
since I talked about the skill trees, the passives um, in the last week. Still not certain whether I should punch more points into the AoE damage since I totally love it as you can see here. Um, or um, even increasing dot um, dots because I think I, I don't know. I need to check that. I'm not certain if we are actually um, putting dots on them once we are shooting. Um, shooting <laughs> once we are shooting at them. But at least the plus AOE damage I think is a thing I should consider going after because I'm um, if I actually pay pay clo close attention I use it quite often. Ah yes, I forgot to mention we now have a, well, new armor equipped which grants us the Tarantula instead of the Jump Pack Assault, which is quite fine for me right now. Okay, I've got to get up and actually destroy this rocket launcher. As you can see, once the suppression resistance is down, it's actually quite nasty to go up after it because of the knockback. Very, very nasty ability. Alright, that was quite easy. Because obviously the amount of enemy enemies was not that high, which... Oh, did you see them? I'm in love with the crits of this heavy bolter. Let's retreat a little bit during the reload and let's get out of harm's way out of the explosion. Of course, as you can see, the crits against the armor target are not as high as against the normal targets, but I think they are just fine. And once the Sentinel is down, it should actually be the, well, you probably see only, so to say, big target here. Oh, okay, close combat, of course, is not a good option. Knockback is not much appreciated. Okay, a clue. Um, Commander Lockhead, my understanding is that you and your man formerly served in the Astro Militarum. I must confess that if that is indeed true, your utter lack of discipline is a sad reflection of the current standards of the Imperial Mil uh, Military. I harbor no doubts about your Imperial... Um, your loyalty, but as a person financing your company, I will not tolerate delays and disobedience. My work is of paramount importance, yet you waste your resource on petty mischief. Mischief, yes. You have failed to deliver my shipment, shipment in time because you are too busy organizing your inflict Prometheum plant. I must trust you will not fail me again or I will make you my new research subject. The seventh. The contacts of Captain Grexus seem to dabble in Prometheum smuggling as well. These rebels have a shadowy benefactor with the moniker the Savant. That could be an important lead. Hey, you're none. Okay. That heavy bolter was not firing for long. These rebels keep dealing in all sorts of dubious activities. The increasing warp this sector apart for a very long time. Fragmenting the bodies has to a top of regiment to separate entities. Those who were weak of faith will fall into the abyss of foul treachery. Please no trap, please no trap. Okay, no trap, that's nice. What I really, really enjoy about the heavy bolter or about this heavy weapon with the barrage, um, that if you change a direction that it actually goes slowly. You do not directly aim in the direction, but you slowly change the direction, which I think is very, very cool. Very, very optic-wise nicely done. Oh, 
Okay, that was one complete magazine, but it, well, took them all out. Elan, my love, I miss you and the shield one so much. I still pray to the Emperor to bring you back in my life soon. Old habits die hard, I guess. I remember my promise, but I can't tell you too much about the current job. Balthazar still reads through our correspondence if he's bored, just like the old days. And there isn't much to tell, really. I'm mostly on guard duty, this time patrolling an abandoned pro Methium field on an Emperor forsaken dirt ball. No, note, um, not that the most lucrative business, but since Anderson's demise, we try to keep a low profile. I'm still thinking about the colonel a lot. He could be insufferable, but fate handed him terrible cards. Stranded on a starving hive world, cut off by a warp search. What else could he do? If the commissar had been a bit open minded, the whole thing could have ended better. After all, I was an us or them. It was an us or them situation. I'm so sorry. I know, let bygones be bygones. A survivor from Acanius Maxima told me that the colonel had tried to make a deal with an inquisitor, Klosterheim, to redeem the regiment. Dealing with those bloodthirsty bastards usually isn't the brightest idea, but I can't blame him. Mostly, if you only choices are the panel regiments or the gallows, um, gallows he tried at least and that's more than i can say about most of us on a happier s subject the servant kept his word kept his world and with the new supplies we are starting to look like soldiers again not a bad feeling i must admit and the work could be much worse we are not taking slaves and there's not pointless killing we are not free from danger, but at least I can sleep well. I'm counting the days until my next leave with love, Will. Okay, that was a rather... Well, it was not the happiest of letter to a wife or to a beloved person. a couple of guys will remain let's take those guys down first i then will take down or call down a couple of tarantulas to break the siege so to say so baltasar Lakit is then um, quickly taken out that is quite neat we so to say have saved nathaniel although um i guess we need to still go on inquisitor what a sight for sore eyes. Not a remark that I hear often, I must admit. I bet. But you have saved my precious hide again. Praise the Emperor. I had some pressing reasons to seek you out, Grexus. I sense a recurring pattern here, Inquisitor. I'm always glad to help the Imperium. Well, and that, guys. I guess we are going to talk to him on the ship. But that right now leads us to the end of this episode, and you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully, and hopefully I see you in, well, the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.